Welcome, Millers, to another episode of Hands-On Yukon. In the previous episode, you got to learn about the external anatomy of this perch. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about some of the internal anatomy, things like gill structure and function, as well as the eyeball. Okay, so we're going to get this show on the road. What you want to do first is uh, take your blunt probe. You're going to want to, to look inside so you can locate the gills. Okay, this is called the operculum plate. Okay, all you're going to do is lift that up if you need to. You can even use your hands and uh, pry that open a little bit so you can fully see the gills in there. Okay, to, after you've located these gills, and you, you, we don't want to injure them along the way, so we're going to cut this operculum plate off right down this jawline, down to the bottom of the fish mouth here. Okay, that way we can get a better look at it. The easiest way to do this is to start at the top and uh, work our way down the outside. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and make my first incision. The dissection scissors typically work best if you go in small snips, so you're trying to make really big ones. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty here. You're not going to hurt this guy. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and come up a little bit on the bottom too to try to clean this up and see if we can't get a better view. All right. So we can, you can see pretty well in there. We can see that this fish has uh, several sets of gills in here. You can take your blunt probe and try to separate these guys and maybe count them out. I can see at least four sitting here in different areas. Um, at this point in your lab, you're going to discuss how structure and function of these guys are related. So something along the lines of how this gill looks kind of like the side of a feather creating lots of surface area and, and what function that may result in as far as helping the fish obtain more oxygen from the water that flows over these gills. To get an even closer look at these gills, we're going to cut each one out uh, section by section. So just try to save as much of this gill as possible. We're just going to make a nice little incision down the size of these gills. I'm going to take our forceps and try to remove those now. Here's a one or two gills right there. Very nice. We'll set those to the side for later. Get in here and grab this next one. And doing our best not to, to injure these guys. And Here's another one. We're going to set that to the side. The one on the bottom is going to be the toughest one to get out. It has a lot of connections made. And we're going to go ahead and pull the guy up. Another one right there. Set that to the side. You can see right here that this guy had about four gills total. Okay, make sure you, you try to count how many gills your fish has. Okay, the bigger they are, the more they're probably going to have, the more oxygen they're going to need in their blood. Okay, so now we've seen how the gills are going to come out, how to get those guys out the easiest. The next part of your dissection is going to be the eye right here. You can notice that it kind of has a haziness to it over that membrane. That's the cornea of this eye, okay, the outer membrane. It's got a little bit of, it looks like maybe a fluid behind it. Fish also have an iris around the outside. We'll try to be able to get that out. Okay, and then there's a pupil in there with a lens right in front of it. So we're going to try to get that guy out. Easiest way to get this out is probably going to be to make an incision right here along the 
operculum plate that we did and just kind of cut the skin out towards this eye. I'm going to try to open it up a little. May possibly need to go in from the eye out. Okay, again, don't be afraid to get your hands on the fish. Okay, the the more cuts you make now, the, the better result you're going to get when you try to get this eye out. Okay, and we can pull that back a little bit. Just pulling on that that piece that I just cut out. Okay, we can start seeing how some of that eye is being exposed. What you might be starting to see right here is some uh, this yellowish colored tissue. Okay, that's mostly a, an adipose or a fat tissue. All vertebrates are going to have a amount of fat behind their eyes it's for various nutrients and things like that along the way. I think we'll be pretty good where we're at right now. Okay, so you can see here that the eye is set in pretty deep in the eye socket. You can kind of take your blunt probe down in there and, and feel around, see if you can't free it a little bit from the sides of the eye socket. Okay, remember there's an optic nerve down in here. We don't want to really harm that too much. Okay, we'd like to hopefully get it out so we can see it. We'll see if I can or not. Still a little bit connected up here. We'll try to remove that. Again, just don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You're not going to hurt this guy. Okay. We're going to get our scissors now, and we're going to dive right underneath this eyeball. And we're going to cut the optic nerve in the back side. Again, right here, you can see it connected still. It's that nice white piece right here, a little bit of dark on it. And that's what connects this eye to the brain. That way, it can tell us what we are actually seeing. It's your fish with no gills anymore, no eye. What we have here is a complete eyeball. Okay, we got that cornea on the outside again. On the back side we have some adipose tissue, that fat tissue here. You see where the optic nerve was connected. Okay, We're going to dissect this guy from the back in. There's going to be some fluid in this eye. So we're going to make a, just a nice small incision here on the back, hopefully. And just cut it right on open. Okay, we need lots of room for this guy to come out. Several parts to an eye here, so I'm just going to unfold it slowly. You're going to find some muscle tissues up in here, different kinds of things. Just going to pull it right out of the sclera here. Excellent. Okay, right here, we can now see that this fish had an iris around the outside. Right here on the outside of that. This hard black thing right in the middle that you'll find would have been its pupil. Okay. Down in here is a, a nice, like a jelly-like substance, which would be its, the lens of the eye mixed on that cornea. Side of here is a nice amount of fluid right here. You can push that out. Along with it comes this little like jelly-like sac full of some... Okay, so we can see how that pupil has this lens attached to it. Okay, it helps use that image and create it into something that the, it can see refracts the light. Okay, and that's your basic gill and eye dissection there. As you walk through it with your teacher, you're going to be able to talk more about how these specific structures relate to specific functions. You, can have to, you have two sides of the fish, so uh, you might have time to do both sides. If so, make sure everybody gets a turn. Um, stay tuned for the next episode of Hands-On Yukon when we get into the guts of the situation.